hey hello welcome back guys uh, to the another HTML tutorial now uh, this is the 15 tutorial and uh, in the last tutorial we have seen the validation uh, using a simple HTML and this which is uh, useful for a form validation and today we are going to watch something which is called as a uh, how to use a tables to structure structurize the form in HTML so whenever you are using a form in the last lecture we have seen that the form is looking like this it has no structure it is uh, it is like um, getting a uh, one component and in below uh, getting second component third component there is no structure of this form so whenever you are working with the form if you want a proper structure to be formed uh, with the tables you can use a table structure so how to do that we can uh, simply create a form uh, with the table which uh, provides you a structural format for your form and this is a simple to do uh, nothing extra you have to do in that just go and create your HTML form and just uh, include a form tag there and include action and method uh, whatever you want so today I'm just going to start with this tutorial so let's start this tutorial whenever you are working with the form you just include a name uh, first name uh, gender and all this thing uh, so just go and create a form that is simple uh, uh, using a simple tag I'm just including uh, enter name and, and this I'm including something in type a text box that is a text and I'm just including name it as a uh, first name okay and I'm just including here a br tag saving the file and just move to the next line and I'm just including here as a select a generator and I'm including two radio buttons that you have already watched the tutorial of radio if you do not watch the tutorial of radio buttons and all this thing you can watch my earlier tutorials so just include input pipe radio and name it as uh, whatever you want and give here as a mail so whenever you are working with the radio button there is a single selection you uh, it provides a single selection for your controls so whenever you are including a gender just see whether you are including a name uh, which is same uh, for both uh, okay so just as including I am here including a uh, at the end of this I am including a uh, sorry and I am including a PR tag and just including a submit button so input type as a submit that is include submit and give value as a whatever you want and just including a go which is visible on your button ok just save the file and go to the browser and I'm just including here as a F5. So now you can see. Oh my God! I didn't change that. Radio, radio. Sorry for that. Uh, I'm just saving the file, and now you can see here is not a proper uh, form we have generated. Uh, we have an, the text box and the radio button is in not the line. So if you want uh, in a line all this thing you can use a, a form with the table so just go and uh, add a table tag over here and at the end of all the form you can close the table 
time but whenever you want something as uh, in a structural manner that means that you want this to be this and this to be represent in the same left alignment and this to be and this to be uh, visible in the same alignment then you can use a table so go to the your form include a table and use the border is equal to a pixel one border and just include a table row str and just after enter row tag you can include here tr and now we want something like uh, this is a first column and this is a second column means that uh, whenever you see that this is a first row this is a second row this is a first row first column first row first cell this is a first row second cell this is a first row no second row first cell and second row second cell so whenever you include this uh, just include a td tag that is a first column just close td here and just another include td and just close td okay so this is a first column okay this is a first column and this is a second column and this is wool a first row so same thing for uh, another that it is just opening of tr and just closing of tr close td and uh, just I want something like this to be included in the same td or this thing that is both the both the gender and all this thing so this is a second row and this is a second row first column and this is second row second column second row second column now just include a third row here and this is tr closing of tr and close the save file and go to the browser press it. so now you can see that it is a proper in the structure now go button is uh, at the top so we can just include here as a in the tr tag we miss out to include a td tag so include td tag close td tag and see the file go to the browser press the file. so all is now in the structure format that is uh, uh, alignment of this and uh, male and female is generated and uh, one thing we miss that the go button is not at the center so just whenever you want something like, like we want uh, two sale to be merged uh, we use a call span so just go and include a call span is equal to number of column you want to merge I want to merge two columns so I can include a uh, this that is uh, call span is equal to two just save the file go to the router press up so it will merge the two columns now we want that the go button should be at the center so this we can do using a uh, attribute that is align is equal to uh, here include as a center just save the file go to the browser press F so here we have a proper structure of a table now whenever you uh, remove a border from this uh, table it will be a look uh, a similar that is look a uh, structural form with the help of table so I'm just going to remove the here table border and just save the file now you can see it is in the proper structure that is enter name enter gender in the 
right side and left uh, in the left side you have a uh, text box radio buttons and button and all this thing so this is how you can work with the form with the tables uh, just you want to include that is table tag and in table tag just include a first row that is tr tag and in the tr tag include a td include second td that is for first column this is for second column just close the first row new row first column second column end of row third row first column and just merging two column using call span is equal to 2 and align is equal to send so hope you guys understand this tutorial that is uh, how to use table to structurize the form in html so thank you for watching guys uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel uh, and watch my website for more details about the html oracle and code java tutorials so thank you for watching guys goodbye